hello this is short me tina once again from shortmetina.com doing a really quick video recap on ticker hmny i haven't done a video in a few days and i felt compelled to do one uh so not much has changed uh in regards to my stance on hmny i'm still along this particular stock uh and at this juncture and even when i went into the trade uh, I knew that my outlook was definitely longer term, right? I'm talking, you know, two, three plus years. Um, so for those that are not familiar uh, with my views on HMNY, first thing you should do is go to shortmetina.com in the search field. Uh, you can search HMNY and just kind of like uh, start from the beginning, um, and work your way up that's one way or two you can go to my youtube channel short me tina and uh, you'll more or less see my stance on hmny so i've gotten a couple of um actually why don't we try this so so here's a couple of things and again while i am long and i am bullish if things work out in the longer term this is definitely a speculative play uh, and you're, you're going to have to listen to a lot of my videos to find out like how I tend to play these um, stocks and what my views are on them. Uh, however, uh, going back to... Uh, going back to what I think about the to the stock in the shorter term and the intermediate term, I am very bearish, and despite, you know, price action, we have our little 5 or 10% pops here or there, like nothing has really like much has not moved the needle with HMNY. So let's take a look back here around May again, when the stock broke like that $2 area, it was breaking multi-year support. Now, if a stock has traded above a particular price point in the in the case of HMNY, that price point uh, is or was $2, the stock had traded above eight, uh, $2 rather for, I don't know, somewhere from 10 to 18 years, a very long time. So if after 10 or 18 years, those levels break, things are not peachy, things are not rosy, okay? And so while folks might thought, you know, a lot of folks thought this was a steal, including myself, because I thought it was going to just break and then pop back up. But no, it broke and we had like these massively long red candles, some sideway action. We broke again and now we're trading sideways. And I think we're trading sideways. Um, you know, there's a possibility we're actually going to break this low of uh, 33 cents. And I say that because just look down here. This is volume, right? And what stands out, green or red? So for me, the red stands out, which says to me that there has been a lot of selling in the month of May. Now, normally, and this, this really goes for uh, most stocks, right? You know, when folks want to get into stocks, right, they don't sell them. People who want to get into a stock they keep them they buy more this tells me that investors are kind of fleeing investors are getting out it doesn't mean that in the next six months or year two three years that this there you know there won't be a turnaround for hmny there's so many turnaround stories in the stock market but right now i don't think that that's happening for hmny despite you know the like five to ten percent pops here and there in fact, um, today's price action just did not look good to me at all. So tomorrow, leading into the rest of the week, even to next week, I would not be surprised if we retested those 33 cents lows or even broke them. So for now, while I'm in and I'm long, I have no intentions on uh, throwing more money at HMNY at this point until the stock stabilizes and we have not gotten there as of yet. So that's my take. I'm a bull. Obviously, if the company can turn this around, I think it's a really good bet because if they can get it right, you're looking at, um, I think, um, a stock that can be worth a lot, right? But they need to get it right. It's not going to happen immediately. You know, the next two to three years down the line, that's one, two, in a shorter and intermediate term, I'm very bearish because we have not found our footing yet, right? Most recently, four or five days ago, we just put in a new low. That does not say that investors are screaming to get in. In fact, looking down here, it's saying that investors are screaming to get out. So yeah, so that's my take on HMNY. First thing we need to do is stabilize, and stabilize means that we shouldn't dip below 33 cents, but based on price action so far in this week, in particular today, I won't be surprised that I wouldn't be surprised if we were to breach that level. 
but to be to be continued right to be continued so that's it that's my sort of dry take on hmny long day just came from swimming but doing a video anyway head on over to shortmeetina.com sign up become a member thank you for listening and as always thank you for the support